next horse I'm showing you is Secretariat. Um, I bought him for 45 I think? Yeah, 45 at the um, gift shop at the visitor center. Um, I love Secretariat. I always wanted him. So, yeah, I didn't see him at the Clarion anywhere. He does, the only thing I saw on him was a little mark right here on his shoulder, or I don't know if you call that shoulder. I guess that's his leg or something. I don't know. Um, that's the only thing I really saw wrong with him. So yeah, that's Secretariat. This next horse is a horse that I got at the Clarion. Um, it is the Icelandic Stallion. I don't know how to say his actual name, so I'm not even going to attempt it. And I did not see anything wrong with him. And he has gorgeous shading. really love him. Um, I got him for 25 new in box. Um, Secretary was also new in box. I didn't mention that, but he is. Um, I saw him for 25 on Saturday, and I was like, I have to get him because he's just super cute. I love Icelandic ponies. They're like my... <laughs> They're my mom's favorite. My mom really likes Icelandic horses too, so. So he's really cute. Love his shading. Adorable. Like I said, I didn't really find anything super wrong with him yet, so. Yep, cute little guy. Alright, this this guy, um, Brunello, I think that's how you say it. Brunello, Bru, no, I don't know. Brunello? <laughs> no idea. Um, I got him as a, in the same room as I got the Icelandic horse. Um, I got him for 30 and I thought that was a really good deal. He was also new in box. Um, and he was on my wish list. So I was really happy to get him. Um, it looks like his tail wasn't really blended in very well. As you can see right there. I don't know if that's all of them, but on this one, I love his tail. The actual braiding it has, I thought that was really cool. Um, I did not see anything on him yet. Um, he has that cool braided mane. This is Max, you can see it. Cool little braided mane, braided forelock. So yeah, he was on my wish list, so I'm really happy I got him for a good price and new box. And that was also I wanted him in new box as well. So yep, that is him, and I now have, I have three horses on this mold, and it's my biggest conga, because I don't really conga anything, but, um, three horses on the same mold is kind of my biggest conga, and that is this horse, so you can see Snowman in the corner right there, that's one of them. And I'll show you the other one I have on this mold, who was the most expensive horse I got at Briarfest, so... Yeah, let's move on to him. Alright, so this is the most expensive guy I got this year at Byerfest. Um, this is Wapiti. I got him for 75 and he is my first purchase of all Byerfest because I got him Thursday night at the Clarion. Um, and I probably paid too much for him, I'm not really sure. He is limited edition. Um, he was new in box, I'm pretty sure. It didn't look like it was, was, was open before. But he did have an ear rub right here, so I'm not entirely sure. Um, I did fix the ear rub with a little black paint, so you can't really see it anymore. Um, because I did fix it. He does have black paint under his, on his leg here from where his tail is. Um, but he was also on my wish list, so once I saw him, I'm like, I have to buy him. And... I was kind of not in the mindset of you can haggle prices, so I just kind of like, I need him and I just got him without even asking to see if she'll take a lower price, so I just kind of was like, it was kind of a very on the moment purchase. Um, so yeah, um, I didn't see anything else wrong with him other than his ear rub, um, yeah there's really nothing else that bad about him. I don't even know. I don't know how much he's worth. Um, I don't know if 75 is a good price, so let me know if 75 was a good price to pay for him or if I overpaid. I don't even know. Um, 
all I know is I really wanted him and he was in the first room I went into so it's like yes here he is not my most expensive model in my collection my most expensive model was a hundred dollars but um yeah so that's him I'm gonna move on to the next one so the last horse before we move on to um some of the stuff that I actually got at Briarfest um these were all Clarion purchases by the way um except for the Celebration Horse, of course, and the um, Single Day Stalemate. Those were both Barfest horses, but I paid for them in advance. Um, um, this is Santana, Santana, San something. Um, and I'm really happy with the price I paid for him. I paid 35. He was new in box. Um, and every room I went to, he was in a lot of rooms, but he was always like 50 and up. He's like between 50 and 65. Um, so I'm really happy I got him for 35 like he didn't have a price tag on his box and I go to a lady I'm like, well, how much is he and she was like oh, 35 so I was like wow really um, So yeah, he was I think my second purchase at Briarfest at the Claire on Thursday night um, So I'm really happy I got him for a really good price um, So yeah, every room I went to he was like 50 to 65 so I was like wow I'm glad I found him before anyone else. <laughs> so yeah, um, I really like, if you haven't noticed, I really am into paints. I really love paints, I have no idea why. Um, I've just always liked paints with their different colored manes and stuff, so. Yeah, he's really cute. Um, I have not found anything wrong with him yet. Um, but I bought a lot of horses, so I haven't really looked at all of them in great detail. I just kind of glanced them over. Well, he does have a black spot on his face right there, but it's really small. <laughs> um, so yeah, he has nice shading. Um, and he was on my wish list, so. Um, yeah, that's him. Now to move on to my breakfast purchases. So at Briarfest, I went to like that tax store that was in one of the corners and I picked up four blankets. Um, I picked up an India looking blanket, I love like the little gold decorations. I don't know, it just looks Indian to me, I don't know why. But I love these blankets because they're very soft and they won't, they'll protect your model very well. And I got a blue plaid one, and then I got a Marin full blanket of red polka dots so yep all right so the first special run that i'm gonna show you is indu and i'm not a huge fan of him his dabbling just kind of doesn't fade off very well on his neck here he has a bleeding nose i have he has like these red dots on his nose and i'm like they, it looks like he sniffed cocaine and is bleeding out of his nose. So my mom says you should call him Coke. I'm like, no, probably not. I'm probably not gonna call him Coke. But anyways, um, his legs are pretty. I do enjoy his legs. Um, and his horseshoes are nice, except he does have a little over painting on his horseshoes onto his hoof. See, they fade out a little bit better on this side of his neck. If you can see that, fade out a little better there. I just think he should have a little bit fainter dappling than he does. Um, his eyes are nice. I do like his eyes. They're pretty. Very detailed eye. I like his tail. I enjoy the shading in his tail. Um, so there's things I like about him. Things I don't. I do like his face. Um, so yeah. I kind of wish I would have got Kali instead of Indu, now that I have him. No, it's just, he's not... He's not my favorite, but I do enjoy him, if that makes any sense. Like, I'm bashing on him a lot, but I do like him. Um, I just kind of wish they did a better job of his dappling. <laughs> and his red nose that looks like it's bleeding. Um, they should have done like a fainter pink than a blood red. That's him. And let's move on to my more favorite special runs. All right, so the tickets that I had, I had a, a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday ticket. Um, I got Indu on Saturday because my mom had to pick him up for me and she was like, she was a little overwhelmed. Um, so I got him Saturday. 
but I got him. I picked him up myself, Vahana. That is this guy. Um, I picked him up on Friday, and I love him to death. I, I love drafts, and he is just gorgeous. Um, I did not find any flaws on him except for he has some purple and his silver on his little knobs. Um, he does have a little bit, a little spot right here on his weight, but I can fix that easily with a little alcohol, rub it off of him. Um, he's gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful draft. He is a little tipsy, um, he does have to lean up against someone on my shelf. Um, so he's a little tipsy, but that's okay. I still love him. Um, he is the most expensive special run, I think, other than the surprise horse. Um, so yeah, that's him. Really happy with him. Love his little tail. It's so cute. Alright, so the next horse is the surprise horse, Bollywood Surprise. Um, the story behind him is when I picked up the surprise horse on Friday, I got a matte buckskin, and he was cute. Um, he did have his seams were showing a little bit. Um, he didn't have his forelock painted all the way, um, kind of painted off to the side here. Like his forelock goes like this, and then it kind of had paint, black paint going this way, like just under it. Um, and he, he had a few black spots on him, like little tiny, tiny black speck on his, it was on his leg here, down here, um, where his sock was. But he was really cute, I really did enjoy him, he had very subtle dapples, he had very nice dappling, I really liked his dapples, so I was like, oh, I'm happy with him, he's cool. When we went back to the Clarion, we went to the Clarion Thursday, and then we went on Saturday, so we went back Saturday, this woman... Um, in one of the rooms had him, the, this pinto, bay pinto, and in glossy and in matte, and it said on the tag that if you could trade the same finish with, like, a different color with the same finish, she would be willing to trade. So I'm like, well, would you trade the sky for a buckskin? And she said, sure. So I had to go back to my hotel, because I stayed at the Fairfield, um, that was, like, a few minutes away, so we actually went out to eat first. <laughs> So I, before we left, I went back to the Clarion to make sure she still had him, and I said I'll be right back, because she did still have him. So we, we went back to the hotel, picked my buckskin up, and then brought him back to the hotel, and I brought him and I we kind of looked over each other's horses and saw everything, and I really loved his shading here. I loved his shading. His shading is beautiful. And as you know, I am a sucker for paints and stuff, and I loved his blue eye. So I was like, sure, let's trade. And she was happy with the subtle, subtle dappling on him, my buckskin. So she was happy with the trade too. So, yep, that's the story behind this Bollywood surprise. Um, he's gorgeous, beautiful. Um, his hooves are actually painted very nicely. The horseshoes do not go up into the hoof very much, except for right there a little bit. Um, he does have the striping very nice, very nice striping in the hooves, um, again, love his blue eye. You can kind of see the seams on his face, but not as bad as my buckskin was. So yeah, I'm really happy with him. And then she was happy because then she could take her glossy one of these guys down, so. So he's super cute. I love him. So yeah, that's my Bollywood surprise. Alright, so the last special run that I got was Saffron, and he is glossy, and he is beautiful. Um, I actually went and got him, he was my Sunday one, um, and if you're wondering why I got one, only one Saturday, and only one Sunday, is because we kind of, I went with my one friend, and she got Darjeeling, and she got Vahana. Um, so she got Vahana on Saturday when I got Indu, and, um, I got Saffron when she got Darjeeling, so that is why I only had one on each day, because she bought her ticket, and then I had my mom's tickets to buy two more, with, along with my ticket, so. 
that's why that happened. So the story behind this guy is I went through a special run line and this girl in front of me was like, are you getting surprise horse? And I'm like, no, we're getting saffron and Darjeeling. And she's like, well, can I'll get um, Darjeeling if you get me a surprise horse and then we'll just trade. I'm like, sure, because she wanted two surprise horses, but you can't pick both. You can't pick two surprises. So we picked up a surprise horse for her and she picked up Darjeeling for us and she gave us 85 to buy the um, surprise horse, but we didn't give her any money to buy Darjeeling, so she kind of just bought us Darjeeling and gave us money for us to buy hers. So that was kind of cool because we were doing her a favor, so that's what she said. So, yep. So, for him, when I got him out, he was glossy, but he had a paint run in his on his leg, and he had a lot of flaws on him. Like he was really bad. Um, he had like rubbing a rub on his face. Like you could literally see like the paint was running down his leg, and it was really really bad. Um, so we went up, and he like didn't have any like his tail didn't blend at all. Like it just kind of went black, and then like right into it like it didn't like blend at all in his tail and I wasn't happy so um I went and exchanged him and I also she came she also that's when she brought this guy out um she unwrapped him she looked him over she let me look him over I'm like yes this is a lot better um so that's the story behind him so that's why that was my saffron story but I love this guy he is gorgeous Love him. Subtle dappling. Um, his tail is blended very nicely. Um, he does not have any running paint down his leg. He does have like a bubble right there of paint, I think, or gloss or something. Um, but everything else about him is really good. I don't have any other complaints about him. I love his mane. Super cute. Lots of people don't like the drown mold, but I do. I like him. He is a little wobbly. Like, he doesn't stand on all four feet flat, as you can see. But he does stand very well, so that's okay. He's really good. A lot better than the first one I pulled, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, he's my first glossy on traditional size. So, yep. That's him, and I only have one more thing to show you before this video is over, so let's get to it. This is another Briarfest purchase from one of the vendors. Um, this is from when you first walked in through the main entrance. It was that girl selling the harnesses and carts. Uh, I have her card, I just don't feel like digging for it, but this is a Meadowbrook that my mom bought me for my birthday. Um, this is my birthday present. It was 200 and it is beautifully done. I mean, it is gorgeous. Beautifully done. It is handmade. She made it herself and it is beautiful. Um, lots of moving parts and that would actually be moving on a real cart. The seat even lifts up. Wheels go. Um, the, uh, I forget what this is called, turns. Um, it is a beautifully done cart. Um, she says that she started doing it with her grandfather, and I mean, this is just beautiful, beautiful cart. And I've always wanted a cart, and now I have one. See, so, yeah, that was nice. And what came with that for another fifty dollars horse and harness? Um, this all together cost fifty. Put it back on him because I did take it off to clean him because he had a lot of black marks on him. This is Gypsy King, I think is what his name is. Um, and I took the harness off just to clean all the black spots off him because he had a lot. But I used alcohol and I rubbed him off, so he's all clean now. Um, so yeah, so that's the harness and it is beautiful. I love it to death. Um, my mom technically said I can't play with it until my birthday, but I was like, he, you're funny. And I started playing with it anyway, so... It has the check, it has the detachable reins, it has the blinkies, it has decorations on the saddle and the bridging and on the um, collar, press collar thing. It is just beautiful. 
and these little tiny tiny hooks on them so cute um, I'm really really happy with my birthday present <laughs> um so yeah I got that from that girl I'll put her name at the bottom in the description since I don't have her card with me right now but yep so that is my briar haul from Briarfest. Um, I had a blast. I met some amazing people, and my mom didn't realize how many Briar crazy people are out there. She thought I was just crazy, but, um, so yeah, it was a blast. Um, I really want to go back next year if I can find someone to go with me, um, and if I have enough money to actually go. <laughs> so yeah, that's, Really, it's, it was a blast, and I really hope I can go back again, but my mom says that she will take me again from four years from now for my college graduation trip, so I have that to look forward to. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you had fun at Briarfest, too, and if you didn't go, you can still buy, pl buy lots of plastic ponies. You'll just have to do it online <laughs> or at your tax store. But, yep, so thanks for watching, guys. Bye.